Hi all, I have another very exciting and dramatic game from Leela Chess against the mighty Stockfish 8. This was Leela ID 10968. <clears throat> the opening, uh, the game was presented by Thomas Kaz, uh, and he set them off in the Grunfeld. So d4, knight f6, c4, g6, knight c3, d5, end of book here. Leela chooses the main line move c takes d5. Knight takes d5 is played by Stockfish. e4. The time control, by the way, is a three minute game with two second increment. Uh, so Knight takes c3, b takes, Bishop g7. Now, because of the Karpov Kasparov uh, World Championship games, I was always toying around with Bishop c4 myself because I thought this was a good idea to put the Knight here. So any pins, you can play f3. So that was popularized a great deal. Uh, in the Karpov Sparov matches. But Leela plays Knight F3, which is the more traditional move. It's uh, a move which kind of permits this relative pin against the Queen. Uh, so we have C5 and now Rook B1 getting out of the firing line of this Bishop with a very important idea. It's not just pressure on the B flats to get out of the firing line. That's the main intent uh, here. If we look at Bishop E3, this is a bit of nothing really. The problem I have with the Grunfield is like one feels as though one is nannying the pawn sensor, which is just continually targeted by every single move by Black, like Bishop G4 putting more pressure on D4, maybe taking on F3, put Queen A5 putting even more pressure for C takes D4. This kind of thing, um, Knight D7 here, not C takes, will just lead to an equal position. Uh, Black's just really comfortable in the Grunfield style position like that. Uh, so you can have a look at my pin comments, uh, pin comments for, for more variations about this. So rook b1, not trying to protect the center with bishop e3, black castles, bishop e2, knight c6, and the big move which rook b1 facilitated is d5, and this is well trodden territory. But Black here doesn't usually take on c3. The preferred move, which seems a lot safer, is knight e5. Uh, so, for example, knight takes this position should be uh, okay or even favorable if white's not careful for black, slightly favorable. For example, here it looks a little bit on the uncomfortable side, this position. Black might actually have a small edge. So, uh, yeah, knight e5 would seem to be a safe move. But here we have a greedy, greedy engine move instead. Bishop takes c3 check. And this is known in chess plays lie book to give white good prospects. So this pawn sacrifice is actually well trodden as well. Queen takes d2 here. Now knight a5 is played, which puts the knight on the rim, but there's some tactical implications here about this knight pouncing sometimes on c4 when white's not uh, ready to take on c4. If knight d4 instead, knight takes this position, e5, it's better not to take on uh, e5 here but just drop the queen back uh, because if queen takes, then check this position is actually kind of even ish dynamically equal so um, but yeah if if white plays queen c3 white should be okay for example like this even exchange of queens there's a big pass center pawn here for example this big pressure on the b farm this should be quite comfortable for white as a comfortable advantage so anyway knight a5 was played and Lila goes for it, h4 this has been seen before so far bishop g4 if h5 here, this is just asking for trouble with queen h6. The absence of that bishop is really dangerous for black with knight g5 coming. Uh, that's just, you know, it's just the massacre after knight g5. Black would have to give up the queen basically, otherwise, uh, as a standard checkmate. So that's a total massacre variation. So um, bishop g4 is played here. And now we have h5 this looks like uh, someone's having a good time with hack attack style chess yeah Leela is having a good time here uh, 
a few possibilities to consider. Black played bishop takes f3. If black takes here, then g4 is strong. With idea queen h6, uh, threatening chatmate. If this bishop blocks knight g5, threatening chatmate again. <clears throat> a standard mating pattern. So if g takes, actually the key move here is knight e5, putting pressure on g4. This position is again uh, a basic massacre uh, checkmate to black. So we have this bishop takes f3. And Leela doesn't fall for bishop takes f3, which would throw away everything spectacularly <laughs> because of this knight on the rim is not so dim after all, after knight c4. This spectacularly throws away everything in every variation. Uh, for example, queen c3, queen a5 gets the queens off. Uh, queen h6 is, is uh, after bishop takes f3, knight c4, queen h6 is even worse, believe it or not. After check, bang, queen d2. Uh, and <laughs> for example, queen takes, knight takes d2 check. Yeah, or hg, queen takes, and then same thing. There's going to be knight d2 check, full king, <laughs> the king and rook. Total disaster. So it's wise to take with the g pawn here, allow the double pawns to control that critical c4 square to avoid any of this spring loaded knight c4. So we have e5, and now queen c3, which sets up pressure along this diagonal. I does like f4, which might coordinate with a rook on h8. Uh, sometimes, but also keeping an eye on the knight. Uh, now this move is the second most popular in my book. I'm going to say it, sacrilege. The most popular move in live book gives away the form pawn, form pawn, T H O R N, sacrilege. This is the most popular move in chess place live book. No form, no form pawn, no comment. The form pawn, to me. Thinking philosophically, it's like examine the most popular games, examine what the rule violations are of those more popular games in respect to giving one side an easy way of winning. And you look at European football, the form pawn is like the offside rule. Yeah, maybe there's other games with similar rules, but the offside rule is when you've got an attacker near the goal, just ready to head the ball in. Yeah, and it's it's not usually allowed to have attackers um, when there's defenders in in front of them. If they go behind the defensive uh, players, it's not usually allowed. It makes it a lot easier to score goals in football. So check out the rule violations of all the other games, and you might come up with form porn as the concept of that research. The form porn goal hanger in football. The goal hanger. It's not usually allowed. And people are giving away a potential goal hanger here, which I think is sacrilege, and it's the most popular move. Leela is not having that. She's keeping the H pawn for the moment. Harry the H pawn. <laughs> so Queen C3, hit C5. We have Rook E8, Rook D1, and again, sacrilege. Again, apparently the most popular move here is to give away the potential form pawn with HG. It's just terrible, isn't it? Just don't believe anything in chess space live book until you see Leela play the possessions. Rook d1 is played. So keeping the potential of hg or h6. Now queen b6, with the big threat of getting the queens off with queen b4, uh, there's a problem for black here, which is being set, that basically bishop b5 is a nuisance with d6. Uh, so this pawn, this rook move, this rook move is susly supported d6. So, for example, if b6, we can play bishop b5 and then bang d6. This position, it might be justified just about to give up the pawn because this is quite crushing. Big advantage. This position here. And if hg, then f4. This is really dangerous on this diagonal. For example, or checkmate. If rook takes d6 here, then taking that. Queen h3, threatening queen h8, checkmate. This is just winning a rook, basically. On a8, ends up winning a rook. Okay, so, uh, yeah, sorry about the rewind there. So let's see. So 
this is really dangerous basically uh so queen b6 was played just just have a quick look at another alternative a6 yes it might be okay to give up the h pawn here because d6 is very powerful this position is very powerful for white so there are certain cases where h is definitely justified to give up the potential form pawn but Leela holds on to that pawn here with king f1 just sidestepping queen b4 and now g5 so black is thinking well i've just closed up the position how happy am i closing up against hg uh just before we look at uh, another alternative here's c4 uh then d6 and this is very very good for example here queen takes e5 yeah this is just all very powerful uh, so g5 h6 form pawn t h o r n it's installed against the rules of european football but it helps because it helps win so many games if if it wasn't a rule it would just be a goal scorer this is a goal hanging pawn okay so queen b4 queen e3 hitting g5 f6 king g2 now what white needs to do to really celebrate this form pawn is to somehow get round and score the goal so b6 rook b1 the queen is a little bit in trouble here actually after queen c1 rook d1 to further harass the queen the queen's really not in comfortable territory and there's bishop b5 as well to think about so c4 closes against bishop b5s uh, for example rook a c8 rook d1 bishop b5 ouch this position is almost is actually trapping the queen black would have to give up a piece and it's kind of hopeless it's just hopeless variation there massive advantage rook up so c4 necessary evil rook b5 stopping the queen going back to c5 that naughty queen on d4 c3 rook d1 queen a4 and now we have d6 and queen takes a2 is played here if rook a c8 then there's d7 forking the rooks by the way uh, so queen takes a2 uh, gives up c3 and it seems as though the bishop's hanging as well right <laughs> if queen takes then guess what yes the form pawn is the goal scoring pawn it helps the goal with queen c7 for queen g7 checkmate and this would be absolutely winning in this line so can you imagine people give up this possibility of the form pawn what are they missing out on here so rook e c8 is played queen d3 protecting the bishop queen e6 d7 rook d5 this is a very very big pass pawn here queen f7 rook c1 and yes guess what there's an echo with rook c1 not just the d pawn but look at this there's the possibility of rook c8 already here very very dangerous uh variations but let's just show that in a little bit not now king f8 rook c7 king g8 rook d6 uh, now king f8 is played if the king wanted to move somewhere else then definitely this pawn is a killer for example here this is where i wanted to mention it just to show the power behold the form pawn checkmating there yeah so king f8 trying to keep the king away from the wrath of the form pawn but queen a3 going into this nasty diagonal king steps back but now bishop a6 and look at this rook c8 support queen b3 is played out of desperation it's just it's hopeless if king h8 then rook c8 this rook c8 is a killer this this pass pawn is a killer for example queen g8 queen d3 and then with the powerful idea of just taking and then d8 this is absolutely crushing it doesn't matter about any discovered chat there this is just queening crush so this is a really desperate move just losing a piece bishop c4 check so there's two big lessons one 
don't trust anything in chess based live book or our content or our follow ups on mainline theory Two, the form pawn represents something you can't do in football and so fundamentally if you check out all the other games what you can't do because of the rules in respect of making things making the games easier to win you could end up with similar concepts actually not just the form but there might be others lurking around to investigate but it seems in this game Leela is really super fond of form pawns it's it's no joke <laughs> it's it's no accident it's a killer weapon of choice I hope you agree comments questions like shares appreciated Thanks so much.